Good day, folks, and welcome to another episode of the Oakville Chambers live stream lunch series. My name is Shane Cuz, and today I have Adrian from Star Quality Private Investigations, who is going to help us out with a very, very important subject, which is fake Google reviews and what Google is doing to support and protect your business. Adrian, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for doing this. How you doing? <laughs> I'm awesome, and thank you for having me. And love the topic. One of my faves. Yeah, well, I know it's a big one. I do talk to our membership uh, all day long, and this comes up quite a bit. Um, and most folks don't know how to either remove them or who they should report to. So we got a lot of great questions around that. Now, we do have a lot of questions, so I suggest we get into it. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, so what is the influence of Google reviews on a business? Massive. I mean, it's Google. And, you know, anybody who knows anything about Google reviews and has ever had to deal with um, a negative or fake review um, that is obviously either from uh, a competitor or from perhaps somebody uh, that they have dealt with that was not happy and it was no fault of their own and they just leave this uh, very negative review. I don't think um, you really understand what the process is and it's extremely painful and and it's very very difficult on the business uh, owners just for the simple fact that google does not support uh this type of complaint for many different fun reasons that we can talk about um afterwards but there, there's a very very long process um to dealing with this but you know sorry just to uh, go back to your initial question is that when somebody actually um, goes to look for a business, you know, Google has trust and people want to trust what the internet says. And so they Google it more so than any other platform. So there's definitely a big trust factor. And there are, um, you know, a huge percentage of people that believe what Google says is the truth. Well, I, I don't think I've made a single online per purchase without doing Google reviews to see, you know, what I'm getting myself into and obviously to protect myself from getting the wrong kind of product. We're and all guilty. Those, when, yeah, when you see some of those reviews and they're so bad, but they're one line or something silly like that and it kind of skews the, you know, whether it's a negative review or not. Um, now, um, Okay, but so hold on, how bad. many people are guilty of clicking that option of four stars plus? myself including knowing full well that if somebody has you know five reviews and there's one competitor and perhaps a person who just you know felt like just being malicious you know they now have a two star you've completely ousted that entire business and you know maybe not legitimately but you know as i said there is such a huge trust that goes into that process and uh, I don't feel that for the businesses, Google is supporting any type of negative or fake review process. So you were going to probably lead into a similar question. Yeah, I, I was. Now, I know you've had lots of conversations with Google on what they're doing or, or are not doing. Um, can you give us some idea of how they're trying to protect us or support us or, you know, where they well, could be better at it? Well, quite frankly, in my opinion, they're not. And it is a very big problem um, for corporations as large as Apple, uh, Fortune 500 companies, and of course, our favorite, which is our locals, our small and medium businesses, and our mom and pa shops, that negative Google reviews are detrimental uh, because there is so many people. And as I said, I think we're all guilty of you know, looking at somebody that's four stars and up. And, and why do we do that when we know full well you know, as a business, if you have, you know, um, gotten a negative review and you say, Mrs. Smith, you know, I've never serviced anybody like this. What they're speaking of never happened within our business. You know, how can we deal with it? And, you know, you've reached out to this person who has, you know, given the negative Google review and, and they're non-responsive. Um, Google doesn't support negative Google reviews. They have a whole process, which they'll very happily, you know, detail out saying, you know, flag your review. Um, we'll get back to you within, I think it's 48 to 72 hours. They, they send you back a very generic, we have reviewed your uh, request and we, we deem this review to be legitimate. And there is no human contact. There's no rebuttal. There's, you know, you could, I believe there's a very 
long convoluted way to get around trying to get somebody to look at it again. But again, you will get back the same response you get from every single time you flag a negative review, which will be, we deem this to be a legitimate review. Even though the reviewer, let's say, has one review, no friends, no photo, they or they have reviewed seven businesses the same day they ditch your business, yeah. or that they are reviewing from another country and then all of a sudden decide to review your business because as we all know you can also purchase negative and positive reviews this is the craziest thing in the world i mean we earn reviews we don't purchase them so i have my own take on that um but okay so why is purchasing google reviews a bad idea oh, well of course because so can I just backpedal and yes, let's have you that as, you know, question two as going into that. So first and foremost, the reason Google doesn't, in my opinion, and in our investigative opinion, the reason Google doesn't do anything about negative fake reviews is because it's not a revenue generator. I've actually been told that through Google and I have it in writing, which is something as you know, Shane, that you and I have talked about, we're taking to the next level. So that's number one. Number two, that your question, why don't they deem, um, you know, purchasing reviews as a positive thing or why are they so concerned or why is it not a good idea to do? Well, now it's all about the mighty buck again. So you're taking revenue away from Google and you're being, first of all, dishonest and not trustworthy. So that's the first thing I see. That's absolutely. And when you look at somebody's reviews and it's like, let's just say every, um, you know they get 50 reviews in you know a month ago you know that those are probably purchased and then they had nothing two years prior look at the dates look at the validity of um the reviewer even people that are local guides i mean people do this for a living um i've had clients that have been um extorted um from third world countries one we're working on right now a massive ring um in, in in a country that i'm not going to name at this point and they are extorting our, our clients for money um and telling them that they're going to continue to attack their page post negative reviews pull down their pay their location pages if they don't send right. money and these these business owners are terrified because everybody trusts google right what well, we've only got a couple minutes left here so is there anything we can do to remove fake reviews ourselves? Like, is it, or is it just a Google thing? Like we have to go through the process. So or you can pay to have them removed there. It's anywhere from $2,000 US to $5,000 US. Do there I have a single no review hold? Correct. That's why I'm saying my first immediate answer is no, there is nothing you can do. We are at the sheer mercy of Google. Google needs to do better. They need to care about the small, medium and large businesses and they need to care about fraud. So you asked me a question. Can you remove a fake Google review? There's companies out there that are claiming and selling their services from two to five thousand dollars US. They will remove that review with zero guarantee that that same person will not post another review five minutes, five days, or five months later. Right, and then you got to go through the whole process again, spend and another. And you're out the money, $1. and exactly. I think the key here is we've got to go after Google to be more, um, you know, uh, knowledgeable on and, and more diligent, and they've got to do better for um being able to actually post a review whether they have to provide a receipt or a complaint or an email something that they've actually done business with that business and that it's gone sideways and or it's just to me it's always educating the public on google reviews it's educating yeah. the public that anybody hiding behind a computer money driven a competitor somebody can post a negative review and complete i've seen businesses you know, from small, medium and large taken down due to negative fake Google reviews. Yeah, well, you know what, I, as expected, this is a two parter. Knew we weren't going to get through this. We've got about 15 seconds. So quickly website and contact information. So we know how to get a hold of you folks. We will do a second one of these because it's a good topic. So go, 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 go. Super website. important, Adrian Star Quality www.sqpi.ca 416-884-5100. 
Thank you all very much for joining us. Catch Thank the video you. online on all our social media. Cheers, folks.